Hey everyone! Oh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Volley Blog It. If you're new to my channel, what's up? I'm Iris Tolanata and I'm your host. Today I will be reviewing two pairs of volleyball shoes and two pairs of non-volleyball shoes. I will also be talking about what I like, what I don't like, and I'll be doing an overall ranking for you guys based on my personal experiences. Also, I apologize if you guys hear any background noise such as honking because in the Philippines there are just so many drivers and the traffic is crazy and all I do is just blast their horn. This is what I deal with every day. The first product I have is not a volleyball shoe, but I do see lots of people wearing these types of shoes while playing volleyball. So I have the Nike Zoom Pegasus shoes and I'm just using this as an example. These are running shoes, specifically running shoes, it's in the title. But for some reason I see lots of players playing in running shoes and I, I don't understand why. Don't act like you run in practice anyway because I'm watching you. Anyway, so most running shoes are very flimsy as you see. It just doesn't feel very stable, it doesn't feel like it's holding your foot in. And on top of that, a lot of running shoes have platforms like this that are full of foam. And I highly do not recommend that because first of all, it doesn't seem to have great ankle stabilization and it's a running shoe. The next product I have for you are the Kobe 9s. I bought these last year and I absolutely love these shoes. They're comfy and they stretch well. Um, the grip is great. Nike does a really great job of putting great grips on their basketball shoes and I love it. The only things I don't like so much but I can tolerate are how chunky this is on, on the sides of the shoe and also that there's not much breathable material. But other than that, it's a great shoe and if you want to play in Kobe's, then go for it. The next product I have is a Nike volleyball shoe. It's the Nike Extreme Volley and it has great breathable material. I like that it's pretty lightweight for the most part and the padding isn't too thick or too thin. It's just good padding overall. They're comfy to stand in, but the things I don't like about this shoe are that one, it's way too narrow. If you have wide feet, I don't recommend these shoes for you because I don't really think they stretch that well. So the first time I wore these shoes, I ever so slightly inverted my foot and for some reason, the shoe started slipping like on the ground and it was just a really weird feeling. And I don't know if I'm a unique case that maybe can't walk in these shoes but that, that was just my experience with these shoes. So I will not be using these for volleyball. For coaching maybe because they are comfortable to stand in, but I definitely would not recommend playing in these. The last product I have is the Mizuno Wave Tornado 8s. I just started wearing these last week and I absolutely love these shoes. I've been wearing Mizuno shoes since I played in high school and I absolutely love every single one of my Mizuno shoes I've ever gotten. So I wasn't surprised when I started loving these as well. They're very lightweight, very, very breathable, and which is great for long days of playing. And it's just a specific volleyball shoe. Mizuno just gets volleyball. The only thing I don't like about Mizuno products is that their grip does run out easily but honestly, I can tolerate it just because the shoes themselves are just great products. They stretch easily and they're super comfortable to play in. Now let's rank the products. For running shoes, I'm gonna say a zero out of 10 because you shouldn't wear running shoes for volleyball. For the Nike Extreme Volley shoes, I'm gonna give them a five out of 10 just because I personally don't feel comfortable wearing them um, and, I, and my ankles just don't feel safe in them. For the Kobe's, I will give them a 9 out of 10, only because I wish they were less chunky and had more breathable material. For the Mizuno volleyball shoes, I give them a 10 out of 10, because they're just great volleyball shoes and Mizuno produces great products. They're very lightweight and they're breathable and they're made specifically for volleyball. 
So my overall top two picks are number one, the Mizuno shoe, and number two, the Kobe 9s. Anyway, the Mizunos are just slightly lighter, and I think they're less chunkier on the sole. In addition to that, they have a lot more breathable material, but either shoe is a great pick. For you beginners out there that are looking for a great volleyball shoe, I highly recommend starting with Mizuno products and venturing out from there. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like me to do any reviews on any more products. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I also have other social medias, so please follow me on Twitter at VolleyBlogit as well as Instagram at VolleyBlogit. I also have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash irisTolanatavb. Stay tuned for more episodes on VolleyBlogit and if you volley, I dig it. Welcome back to my channel. My channel, what's up? I'm. Today we're going to be doing. Who's we? Hey, I will be. <laughs> Make a rear. Stop honking your horns. No. Right.